Okay, so we're now up to video 105, video 35. We're still talking about zeros of a polynomial function, but in a certain way. So just bear with me for a little bit while we get ready to get started. Okay, so zeros, zeros of polynomial. polynomial um, continued and specifically we need to be talking about multiplicity multiplicity it's, it's fancy name not a complicated um, concept okay here's our example right away let's call it g of x we have an x squared times x minus 2 to the third power and an x plus 4 to the seventh power. Okay, so if we turn this all into zero, you know how to get you know how to get the, the zeros. You can see there's three zeros here. We did it last time in video 34. So we would set x squared equals to 0, right? So take the square root of both sides and you get x equals 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0, so you get x equals 2. x plus 4 is equal to 0, so you get x is equal to negative 4. So our zeros, our zeros are 0, 2 and negative 4. Here are our zeros. Zeros. Now, what is the multiplicity? That's the new thing we're learning here. What's the multiplicity? Here are the zeros. But what's the multiplicity? Well, the multiplicity of this zero is 2. The multiplicity of this zero is three, and the multiplicity of this zero, negative four, is seven. That's it. It's very simple. Now, tangent. Tangent. Let's say you have a poly some sort of polynomial function, and it goes through the through through the x-axis over here, x-axis, but over here it just touches it and goes back. Okay? So now, here is the story. If you have an odd, this, this polynomial, this polynomial that we've just been working with, if we graphed it, it would be some sort of function waving back and forth. But there's one thing I know about this polynomial, that where x equals 0 at this 0, if the, if the, um, if the multiplicity is 2, meaning it is even, so then this is the, it's going to be a touch point. A touch point. It'll just touch the x-axis and go back. But if the multiplicity is odd, then it's going to be a cross point. So this 0 this zero at this zero or x equals then the uh, the the graph the polynomial just touches the x-axis and goes back at this point it cuts right through it when zero is equal to two x is equal to two so then it's going to cut right through it and what about over here where this is also odd same exact thing it's going to be a cross point even is touch point and even multiplicity an even multiplicity creates a <coughs> touch point and an odd multiplicity, mul multiplicity creates a cross point has a cross point okay so now I need some more room let's see 
I think we have room. What if you have a situation like this? The question is, question number two, you've got m of x is equal to one-tenth times x minus four squared times 2x plus 5 to the third power. And here's the question. The question is zeros, multiplicity, and cross or touch. Right. C C is for cross cross point. T is for touch point. Okay, that is what we want to fill in. So what's our first zero? Right over here. X minus four is equal to zero. So x equals four. Here's our zero. One of the zeros. What about this one? Two x plus five is equal to zero, minus five on both sides, we get two x is equal to, two x is equal to minus five. This is gone. Divide by two on left and divide by two on right. And we get x is equal to negative five halves. So our second zero is negative five halves. Right, two zero, one is the um, one is four and one is negative five halves. So the multiplicity, the multiplicity of four, two is going to be two. The multiplicity of negative five halves is going to be three. And this touch point, four comma zero, I'm sorry, four comma zero, since the multiplicity is even, so therefore it is a touch point. And over here, since when, since it's odd, it's going to be a cross point. So that means, that means, let me get some space over here, that 4 comma 0 is a touch point, and negative 5 half 0 is going to be a cross point on this graph. And that's exactly what, what 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 went over here. Zero. This zero means at the at zero zero. We have at zero zero we have a touch point. This means at two comma zero. Two comma zero we have a cross point, and over here at negative four comma zero. We have a cross point. And that's it for this uh, this video about multiplicity, touch points, and cross points that go along with our study of zeros.